car. Double clutches, near side Ranton and throws it in front off of Flanton Scott, sticking wide. 15 seconds to go in the power play. McCarr, he scores! Oh, hell, hell! He's done it again in overtime! The Colorado Avalanche again have come from behind and won it in overtime! 17 wins in a row on home ice! Coach, thanks for taking some time. Um, just landed in Chicago, coming off that huge win last night. I'm curious, what, was there ever a moment in that game when you guys were down 3-1, you know, people were in the box and it didn't look good? Was there ever a moment that you were like, something's coming? Well, I kind of had that feeling because I liked our first period a lot and I liked our second period too. We just got in the penalty trouble. We made a couple mistakes. And next thing you know, you're putting the best power, play, one of the best power plays in the league on the ice. So they take the lead. But I love the chatter we had on the bench. Like I could hear our guys saying and, and, and reiterating all the right things. And I could feel the belief. And I think our team believed that we were gonna have an opportunity there. Um, it, it, and then we got the second goal in a timely manner where we still had enough game yet. So it, it, was, um, it was a great ending and a really fun night. I love seeing Landy's face after he scores and the celebration. Like that's why I coach. I just, I, 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 love, the, I love the celebrations and, and watching the guys succeed at something that was not going to be easy for them coming out in the third period down 3-1. You don't ever celebrate, ever. <laughs> I mean, yeah. you are stoic. Yeah. And last night you did, why? Well, it was just that that's, that was the feel of the game. It was a, like an emotional game, and it was, uh, um, I don't know, it just drags you in. You know, the building was electric, especially as the third period went on. You had the Bruins fans in there at the start with their chance, and, you know, we wanted to send our fans home happy, and I, I, I believe our guys feel all of that, you know, especially when the other team has a bunch of fans in the building. And, and this is something we're trying to extend a streak here, and and keep a good thing going. And again, with Nate being out, you know, like there was a lot of motivation for our guys to, to, to really dig in. You go back to your playing days or even early coaching years. If I'd have told you back then that you were gonna be the winningest coach in, in franchise history, and I know you're gonna pump up the players, but you <laughs> yeah. gotta take some credit for that. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, I would have never imagined it, you know? I just, I'm, I'm in the game because I love the game and I love being around the guys and the players and like you know even just with your staff now like if you're not playing the game coaching the game is the next best best thing for me and, and in a lot of ways more rewarding you know you're watching hard the players are digging in for you and, and listening to what you're you know saying and mm -hmm. it, it becomes real rewarding to see them have success and that's why I do it like I said I go back to the Landy celebration and I can remember celebrations over the years you know the empty net goal to eliminate St. Louis, like watching that celebration, that picture's up in our locker room for a reason. And it was, that was a big moment for at least my time here with the franchise, getting back in the playoffs. And, and then, you know, the goal, you know, going on to beat Calgary, the celebration after that, you know, that's what I love seeing our guys getting rewarded for their work. And, and one day I'd like to be here and, and see them lift the cup, especially all these guys that have been battling to try to do it even before I got here, like like the likes of Landis Gog, McKinnon, Eric Johnson, you know, and to be able to see those guys have the success would, be, would mean the world to me. All right, coach. Well, thanks for the time. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Let's go get a win in Chicago. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>
Dave Landeskog from the side of the crease, able to bang home his second goal of the game. Kadri drags it in, flips it down, deep shot, score! Right back with Alex Newhook. The abs on top now, four to two. In front, here's Kane with a shot and he scores! Patrick Kane outweights Francois. Abs take it away, McCarr tries to send it all the way down the ice, deflected into the empty net! Kale McCarr threw it off a Blackhawk from the top of the circles in his own zone. Alright, uh, good game, boys. Way to stick with that one. Uh, a couple up and down in the third, but way to stick with it. This one goes to Colin Fig fight in the Yeah! Hey, we agree now our best, but keep finding ways to win games and it's a lot of fun. Make sure everyone gets some sleep tonight. Yeah. Yeah. And today I got with me here, I got Braxton, he's 12, and I got Casey and his younger brother is 10. They're gonna take care of the starting lineup. Give him a warm welcome, boys. Thanks, coach. All right, boys, pitter patter, let's get at her. Here's how we're starting tonight, fellas. Starting at left wing, your captain, number 92, Gabriel Landeskog. <laughs> Starting at center, the Moose, number 96, Miko Rantanen. <laughs> Starting at right wing, the Choo Choo Train, number 13, Valeri Nachushkin. <laughs> Starting on defense, Taser, number seven, Devontae's. <laughs> and also starting on defense, number eight, all hail Kale McCarr! <laughs> Starting in net, kicking it old school, number 35, Darcy Kemper. The Abs are back home versus Buffalo and hope to keep streaking. They won 17 in a row on home ice. Force of Nature versus Sword. High glove side on Tukarski. Now Ranton works right behind the net. In put for Landeskog. He shoots and scores. And what a goal from old captain, my captain. I mean, he is a competitor. And 10 years in a row now with this over. Turnover score! And tie this game in the air. Sent off. Secure it. Stop with the shot. Blocker saved by Tukarski. Rebound drop. Score! The Abs are finally rewarded. It's a bouncing puck. Straight away, Kale. Back to Miko one timer. Score! Miko ranted in. The moves got loose above the dot. Stolen away. Sent all the way down by O'Connor. And he missed the open net. Nachushkin, he shoots and scores! The Avalanche have tied the longest point streak in franchise history, and they have won 18 games in a row on home ice. Good win tonight, way to grind that one out. Some good games, take you way to step up, nice apple. Um, this is going to a guy that um, is able to refocus and uh, after one of the biggest days of his life, Whitey, <laughs> let's go, baby.